Okay, so this is going to be something different. I'm going to be reviewing... Uh, well, no, it's not different. It's just what I decided to do. Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing Ash vs. Evil Dead episode 2, 3, and 4. Um, because I didn't get a chance to review episode 2, even though I've already seen it. I saw it, what, about three weeks ago? And um, I've only just finished watching episode 3. And uh, I've just got to go and watch episode 4 now. But episode 2 is basically about Ash uh, continuing from the first episode. It basically picks straight up where the uh, first one left off. And all these reviews are going to be quite brief. Uh, so basically he's on the hunt for the book. Which Kelly, the female character uh, in the show, stole from Ash. She uh, stole it and then pissed off on a motorbike to her parents' home because uh, she was led to believe that her mother died. However, spoiler, these videos are spoiler. You know, these video, yeah. You know, all these videos are going to contain spoilers. Her mother did die, but she came back as a deadite. And as you know, these deadites, well, deadites in all the evil deads, can take the form of their original selves. So they can be human, but they're a deadite really inside. And so they can trick you. <clears throat> and so Ash now is on the quest for his book. And so he puts on his chainsaw arm, gets out his boomstick, uh, goes over to Kelly's parents' house, she bursts open the door with Pablo and goes, Where's my book? I was like, Yeah, Ash! He's back. And, uh, you know, it just, it just, the tone starts to drop from there, so it's like, Why are you all covered in blood? It's like, Oh, yeah. And Pablo's just standing there with a broken bottle because um, Ash's manager from the store in the first episode was a deadite and he killed him with a bottle. As you saw in the trailer, he just stabbed him several times in the neck. And so, um, Ash is basically invited over for dinner. Um, well, they was going to have dinner anyway, so they thought, okay, he's here now, might as well just put dinner on. Uh, and then Ash tries to, like, you know, be the smart ass and everything. And he, he is, basically, he... <laughs> You wax uh, Kelly's mum off the chair, just fucking boom, that's it. And it's like, yeah, bitch, I know you're a deadite. And she is, she's a deadite. <clears throat> and then she ends up killing her husband by putting a fork into his eye. And then that's it. And then her and Ash have a battle in the dining room. And then she fucks off into Kelly's bedroom. And then once she's in there, Kelly uh, goes to look for her but she's taken her normal self. And this is the bit that got me, because when Kelly was, op you know, when she opened the door, uh, Kelly's mum was saying, Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And I was like, oh my God, Evil Dead 2. Straight away, Evil Dead 2 with Henrietta and everything, and Annie. So it was just taken from Evil Dead 2, and then Ash finally has another battle with her, finishes her off by sticking the chainsaw into her mouth. But what I really liked about that scene is what Kelly said to her mom. She was like, Mom, you've killed Dad. What's wrong with you? And uh, Kelly's mom was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. And then she hugs Kelly, and then she turns into a dead act, and then Ash finishes her off by putting a chainsaw right in her mouth. He buries the, uh, the parents with the crosses like an evil dead too, sticks the cross in the ground, and then Kelly says, you know there was Jewish, right? And Ash is like, I, I did not know that. Wish you would have told me before I made those dumb crosses. And I was just like, oh my fucking God, it's Ash, he's back. And it, it was just so good. So good. So that was pretty much Evil Dead, uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, episode two, which was called Bait. So moving on to episode three of Ash vs. Evil Dead, which is... Uh, titled Books from Beyond. It starts off with uh, Lucy Lawless's character, which I really I, I can't remember her name. In fact, I don't think we know her name yet. But it starts off with her character driving down the highway and then she comes across Kelly's parents' home 
and then uh, she sees the uh, you know the graves or well, so called graves of the um, the parents and then the dad uh, comes up from the ground tries to grab her and everything and then uh, I'm just going to call Lucy Lawless basically just picks you know because I don't know the character's name yet um, basically just picks up the dad I, I, I do apologise because I, I don't know the character's names yet so I'm just going to make it brief after all this is a brief review of all the episodes so far uh, so she basically picks up the dad impales him on the cross and um, basically uh, she's interrogated him basically saying Ash was here wasn't he and her yeah, yeah I know her name now well I know she's a Nobi. She's a Nobi. I'm not too sure what. I'm going to get back to you on that. Ruby Nobi. That's it. So, I'm guessing... Well, I'm not guessing. Well, yeah, technically I am. She's Professor Nobi's daughter. So that would make Annie from Evil Dead 2 her sister. Because, yeah. Boof. Okay. So, this is going to be good, this is going to be good. Right, okay, so, um, in episode three, Books from Beyond, Ash is basically trying to translate a page from the book, and I think the highlight of this episode is not because we see uh, a new deadite, but we actually now know, how, well, we don't, yeah, we, we always knew how the book was created, but when now we actually see how it was created, and then it talks about the Dark Ones and everything. And it actually shows the Dark Ones are these group of people in red robes with hoods, and they actually hang a person upside down, cut him open, skin them, like Predator, skin the flesh off them, and then they mould the book. And I thought, wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is awesome. Um... So it actually shows you how the book was created. It shows you in like the pages of the Necronomicon. It's like as the um, the bookshop owner is flipping through the pages, he actually comes across the dark ones and everything. And uh, talking to the bookshop owner, I really can't remember his name. And I've just watched this video. I've just watched the episode, and I can't remember his name. My mind's like a goldfish. But um, so basically. They end well, the bookshop owner ends up creating this circle. And if they summon a deadite within that circle, it basically means he cannot go outside of the circle because it, it just can't happen. He can only go outside of the circle if and only if the circle is broken. Yes, the circle does become broken because the police officer from the the woman police officer from the first two episodes comes in, interrupts everything, fires a shot, that makes Ash jump, and he breaks the circle with his foot. And now the Deadite is free. But what really got me on this was this Deadite is really... is a shapeshifter, basically. But he eats... we've never seen this before in any Evil Dead. This Deadite can basically see inside you. It's like when he comes in contact with Ash, you can see Ash's skull and everything and his brain and then it goes inside of his body and bits inside of his brain and shit like that's breaking and, you know, like the earlobes and everything. And I'm thinking, my reaction was, what the fuck? Like that, it was like, what, what is going on here? And it ha again, the same thing happens to Pablo. <clears throat> But throughout the episode, it was like, to stop all of this shit, it has to do with, something has to do with Ash. Something inside of him has got to, basically, has got to do something with him stopping all the deadites and everything. So it's something inside of him. I'm not too sure what it is yet, but I'm going to have to find out more when I watch the next episode, which is entitled... I think I'm getting this wrong, pronouncing it wrong. Brujo? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I, I know that in the next episode, they are going to look for Pablo's uncle. And um, he'll probably have to have something to say to it. 
But uh, the first time I saw this new Dead Eye, it kind of scared the shit out of me. Because uh, there was a very funny line where uh, Ash uh, looked at the picture of the Deadite. And um, when the Deadite appeared, he was like, well, first thing, you don't look like any of your pictures. So that needs to be updated. And I was like, oh my god. Bruce Campbell could only come up with something like that. But he said something like that, I'm not too sure. Like I said, these episodes, uh, these videos are going to be brief. And then the bookshop owner basically ends up becoming a dead eye at the end of the episode. Uh, he gets it good. He gets. I'm not going to say how he gets it, but he gets it good. I was like, oh my fuck. Oh my fuck? What the hell? Um, but yeah, he gets it good. So I'm off to watch the th fourth episode. Is it the fourth? Yeah, fourth episode. And I'll let you know what I think of it. Okay, so this is episode four. A couple words, confusing as fuck. <laughs> this episode is really, really confusing. Um, so basically it starts off with Ash and the gang um, driving down the highway to visit uh, Pablo's uncle. But uh, Kelly's in the back because she's feeling unwell. And I'll get to that in a second. Well, in a few minutes. And um, the unknown force that is in pretty much all the Evil Dead films, uh, the the camera view, you know, the wow, that one, uh, is chasing the car down the down the highway. And um, they manage to get rid of that, and they come across. Pablo's uncle's house and it's weird it's weird 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 it's got bones hanging all over it's pretty much like a Texas chainsaw house it's got bones hanging all over the place and everything so whilst Pablo and Kelly are in the trailer in the back Pablo decides to build Ash a new hand because in the previous episode uh, the female police officer decides to handcuff Ash, but she handcuffs his wooden hand, and then he just pulls away from it, and then he handcuffs her. Uh, so then uh, Lucy Lawless turns up. In fact, she turns up uh, right after the car chase in the first half of the episode. She turns up kills the deadite from the bookshop owner deadite she kills him chops his head off stomps on his head because it's still talking and then she uh, frees the police officer and then um, this was probably the biggest highlight of the episode uh, I was like I, you know so she pulls out of her boot or trunk A wrapped up thing. It's, it's wrapped up. And the police officer's like, What's that in there? She unwraps it, and it's Ash's evil hand from Evil Dead 2. And it's even twitching. And she says, It's still twitching. It started twitching like a few days ago. So maybe it's looking for its original master. I was like, Oh my god, oh my god. This is going to be the best episode ever. However, out of the episodes that I've seen, this is the weakest one. But I know the next episode is going to be much better. So the reason why Kelly is feeling unwell is because the Deadite that was summoned from the book in the third episode. In fact, I'll bring you up a picture right now. So that ugly mofo is basically like I said before it's a shapeshifter so it's it's it, it's so weird um, basically Kelly's feeling unwell because I'm guessing that that deadite is inside her basically and then uh, she looked at herself in the mirror and that's what she saw she saw that deadite and her eyes went pure black and uh, back at Pablo's uncle's cabin. Say that three times fast. Um, Ash is 
hallucinating because he, you yeah. know, he didn't actually take some drugs. The uncle took some drugs and he blew the smoke in Ash's face and then he inhaled that and now he's hallucinating. And he's having flashbacks um, of killing Glinda from Evil Dead 2. And I thought that was a really good highlight. I thought that was excellent. But you see all this stuff that's going on in Ash's mind, <laughs> like all the stuff that's going on in Ash's mind, such as Playboy, women, uh, <laughs> drugs, shit like that. And then the, the most unneeded bit, I think, is he visits this, uh, it's like a city on a pier, and it's, uh, I can't remember what the city was called, but he was originally going to visit that city, but he took Linda to the cabin. So he was originally going to go there, but he thought, mm, I'll take you to a cabin. So I thought, oh, okay, that's a bit of backstory we didn't know. Uh, what else? And uh, if you saw in the first episode, he had a uh, a pet lizard. I think it was a lizard uh, by the name of Eli. Even Eli starts talking to him, and it's so cheap. And you can see the mouth. It's like it's like the annoying orange, basically. If it was a lizard, um, yeah. And uh, by the end of the episode, Ash starts to uh, choke Kelly. Uh, because Ash is waking up within his dream, choking... Well, he's not actually choking the Deadite, but he's, like, doing that. So he's basically got the Force. Um, so it's like, you know, you can't come anywhere near me whilst I'm doing that. Uh, but in reality, he's choking Kelly. So I'm thinking that Kelly is... I wouldn't say she is a Deadite, but that Deadite is inside her, and they've got to find a way of bringing it out of her. So it's going to be really... I think it's going to be... I don't think the fifth episode is going to be as, you know, as quite confusing. But uh, so far it's been really... Well, no, not so far. This episode has been really fucked up. But I will watch episode five. And I will let you know what I thought of it. So, roll on next Saturday. Episode five. Uh, they did mention something. Because, like after every episode it says next time or something on the next episode and it mentioned uh, and I read this on Facebook as well <laughs> will Ash lose his down below bits in episode 5 I don't know I don't know I, I don't know so uh, stay tuned for more vids thank god this review's over I'll do it individually from now on I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing three, four, I'm, you know, three, four again. I don't know. I'm not doing it again. Peace. Jesus. <laughs>